Hi, this is Miriam Vertiflor. This is for the antibiotic sensitivity Kirby Bauer diffusion test. Um, I just want to talk about um, antibiotics. They're natural substance, substances produced by microbes that destroy or slow the growth of bacteria. Antimicrobial agents are synthesis sub substances developed in the laboratory that mimic the effects of antibiotics. Um, so um, we have certain antibiotics in particular. We have penicillin. It's a bactericidal narrow spectrum drug that targets primarily gram positive bacteria. It disrupts the formation of bacterial cell walls by inhibiting the formation of peptoduplicin. It cross links resulting in um, cell lysis or cell death. Um, it is considered bactericidal since it does kill the cell. We have next the novobicin biosin. Uh, it's a bacteriostatic narrow spectrum antibiotic that targets um, the DNA gyrase in some gram positive bacteria. The DNA gyrase is an enzyme necessary for the replication of DNA. Without DNA replication, the bacterial cells cease to grow and divide. Um, we have gentamicin, that's a narrow spectrum bacteriostatic antibiotic that targets um, aerobic gram negative bacteria. Gentamicin binds with bacterial ribosomes, cellular structures responsible for protein synthesis. Next we have, um, let's see, so let's talk about the Kirby Bauer diffusion test. Um, it's performed using commercially prepared filtered discs that have been infused with specific concentration of a particular antibiotic. Uh, when placed on an agar plate, um, containing new, newly plated bacteria, the antibiotic diffuses away from the disc into the agar, creating a concentration gradient that describes the uh, lagaromycally with um, the distance from the disc. As the bacteria grow, they will be inhibited in regions where the antibiotic concentration is above what the microorganism can handle. Um, the diameter of the zone of inhibition is measured in millimeters and compare it to chart that the links of the size of the zone of in inhibition to the dosage that is often administered to a patient. So let's get started with the testing. Hello, this is Marianne Vertifor. This is for the antibiotic sensitivity um, Kirby Bauer diffusion test. So we have the broth that we recultured. Just gonna explain the lip. This is for the S. epidermiditis. So we have the pipe that was soaking the alcohol. I'm gonna take eight drops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gonna spread the culture evenly. So now we're just going to wait um, one to two hours um, and then we're going to place the antibiotic disc onto the plate. And we'll be back. Okay, it's been um, one to two hours, so let's get started again. So now we're going to place the antibiotic disc onto the um, assigned area. Petri dish. Okay, so just placing in the center. Like really in there. Okay.
And now we're going to do the rest for the other ones as well. Hello, so I incubated for um, actually a full 24 hours because I didn't see growth at um, 12. So let's go take a look at it. Okay, well, so let's take a look. Alright, so just by looking at it, it looked like my hypothesis was um, correct. The penicillin looks like it has the most um, zone of inhibition for um, against the S. epidermiditis. So good.